Congo is strategically important to the United States. It's a, a very wealthy piece of real estate. Cobalt is used in manufacturing weapon systems that are important to the U.S. Department of Defense. In particular, incredibly rich in coltan, which is really important in electronic equipment. All these minerals. Congo has been a tempting place to foreigners for a long, long, long time. The United States deplores the unilateral action of the Soviet Union in supplying aircraft and other equipment for military purposes to the Congo. There were a lot of American interests, mainly Cold War interests. When Lumumba turned to the Soviets, that was a red flag. I was to assassinate Patrice Lumumba. That was the beginning of U.S. policy supporting the Mobutu dictatorship. He was going to keep the place in the Western camp. Once the Cold War was over, Mobutu was no longer necessary. President Mobutu, we can't support you anymore. We want you to leave the country. You go through the door or through the window. And the United States allowed Congo to disintegrate. Since all these wars started, we are living a livable life. Gold and other minerals for the circuits and cell phones and computers are funding the deadliest war since World War II. You can screw out the land and get coltain, cassitrin white, or gold in eastern Congo. You make money, easy money. They have been told that you go there, we shall bring you guns, you give us minerals. Eastern Congo then is a source of anarchy and uh, looting of Congo's mineral wealth. Katanga, which is in southern Congo, and that's much more industrial. This is where the big, big money is made. Congo is losing way more money from the mining deals that are done in Katanga than it's losing from the small trade in conflict minerals in the Kivu region. We see companies viewing the war as an opportunity for them to get in early. Why do you think they will have to use us? You didn't get permission from me. Why can't we use them? Where are you guys based? Canada. Canada. Versé à l'État est équivalent donc aux, aux produits qui sont exportés. Il y avait une énorme différence. On y dit toujours, on attend pas la richesse dans ce pays. Alors, par là, moi, je veux absolument rien. Mais le Congo, c'est aussi un scandale géologique. Le Congo, c'est plus que l'Arabie Saoudite, dont le potentiel 18 000 milliards. Ça, le paradoxe du Congo. Je dois faire la métier. Que ce soit un pays, il n'y a, a pas trop de morts. Je ne sais pas si je suis facile à jouer avec les gens. Les gens ne sont pas en train de se faire. Les gens ne sont pas en train de se faire. Si notre pays est home to such abundant natural resources, and because the Western world in general will ever need those resources, they should rethink their policy. They should rethink their way of treating the Congolese people. Ndiyo siye sasa. 